G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of our little adventure. We are at Lake Gardner, Gardner, not sure how you pronounce it. I'll pop a little wiki camps up. Completely free and this gives us access to Cradle Mountain. Cradle Mountain's only 25 minutes away from here, so the Sveto's already out there today. We're still hanging out with him. Clem is inside working, so Liam and I have been hanging out. Uh, we went for a bit of an explore earlier today, just down or upstream, up the little river here. We've had platypuses cruising past. It's just been sensational. Well, look at that. But I'm going to start getting some dinner ready because we're going to have a pulled pork tonight. So I've got the fire pit out. I've collected a little bit of wood, but when Brett gets back with his chain loop for his chainsaw, which I think he's left in his car, um, we'll run out and we'll get some better stuff. But at least I can get it started with this. Uh, so yeah, just getting all the ingredients out. I'm going to whip up the pulled pork. Last time we did that was at Katninga Station near uh, Port Augusta and it turned out beautifully. So I'm going to try and redo it again here today. And that is now good to go. I'll just let that sit for a little while while I get a fire prepped. How did you do that? Uh, I did it on the stove. It wasn't ideal, but just for times. Yeah, pork in here. You can hear it sizzling, you can hear the veggies sizzling. Alright, Luffy, how are we looking? Pretty good, still a little bit watery, but... Oh, I think that's pretty good, because yeah. once it sort of sits in there for a bit, and we break it up, I reckon all that water will disappear. Well, it's not even water, it's just... Juice. Juicy goodness, that looks so good. Juice and sauce and... I'm, <laughs> I'm drooling a little bit. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> Mm -mm. Ah, nailed it again. I've got this pulled pork sorted now. I put some potato, broccoli and carrot in these veggie parcels with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. Keeping it real simple today. Look at that, just pull apart. Yeah. Yum. Oh, there you go, you didn't even need a fork. Nah. That's good pulled pork. Yep. Oh, that's nice. What good. time did I get that on? About 3.30? Only about three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was still about three hours knee deep in work. Yeah, true. <laughs> and these guys weren't even close to being back yet. No. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and salivating as well. We're gonna start slobbering all over it in a second. Oh. Man, everything cooked on the fire. Unreal. This is what we wanted when we got to Taz. You couldn't have fires back on the mainland for the last few months. It's good to have one again, isn't it? Yes. All the kids are getting ready, and our back drop. Morning. It's bright and early. Say good morning, kiddo. Good morning. <laughs> It's 8.30, which is probably not that bright and early for here. Um, this morning we are just heading up to the information centre at uh, Cradle Mountain just to get our National Park Pass, which we haven't done yet, and also our bus ticket so that tomorrow morning we can get started straight away. We've had a pretty cool morning. We just um, came up to the river when we were walking the dogs up to the bridge and we saw two platypus swim under the bridge, which was really cool. Yay. Very cool to see Very. from above. Yeah, and the water's just so clear, like even if it's a few meters down, you can still see them. It's yeah, just, it's very, yeah, very cool. it's really, really surreal.
Okay, it took us about uh, half an hour to get here, just under half an hour to get here from Lake Gardner. And this is the car park, it's absolutely massive. There's a dump point as well and you can also get fuel. I don't think you can get potable water here. Uh, from what we've heard, um, there's this awesome new toilet block, which looks amazing, and the information centre's down that way. I don't really mind. It's fun, isn't it? You do big jump. You're not in anyone's way, you're not doing any harm. Yay! I did the next one! Okay. <laughs> Okay, so there's a few different park passes that you can choose. The holiday pass goes for about two months and it covers all the national parks in Tassie. We ended up going the annual pass because it was only 10 bucks cheap, uh, more expensive, and it covers, uh, it'll covers it cover us for our full three months here in Tassie. So you get um, a receipt, <laughs> um, a paper copy of your receipt as well, and um, there's somebody asleep in there, <laughs> like a hiker. So Liam, we'll leave them be, mate. Yeah. Liam, Liam. Yeah, there's a hiker sleeping baby. They might have had a big few days. Come on, get up. I think, is that Cradle Mountain through there? Is that our first Oh, yeah, there? it could be. Perhaps Cradle Mountain just through there? Oh, I'm going Cradle Mountain. We're going on Cradle Mountain tomorrow. So with your National Park Pass you get your bus tickets which covers us for the time that we're here and you won't be able to get on a bus without one of these so make sure you come to the information centre even if you've got your park pass and get your bus tickets. Yes kiddo, what's up? You can go home to work and we'll stay here and we can go hiking without you and we can go on the Grand Mountain yesterday. We're going to climb mountains. We'll go now. <laughs> we're, we're Poor Mama. Normally I wouldn't mind, but I really want to do Crater Mountain. <laughs> and here it is, guys, over here, over here. Oh, it's going back the other way. <laughs> I can't see it. Can you see it? Where? Oh, that way. Swimming out. Swimming out. I can't. I see nothing. He's going to pop up out there. I see nothing. Wait for it. He's going to pop up because they don't have that much air. I see nothing. Well, we lost him like three We We got all excited and he ducked under. Sorry. Wait, watch. Watch for the pop out. There he is. Looks like a she though because she's so little. Let me come. Hey. And then they that was fun. Maybe See, we weren't lying. Yeah. There's definitely know, heaps of platypus here. Like the I honestly didn't think it would be this easy to spot them though. <sighs> I said that to Clem when we rolled into this mm. camera. I'm like, you're going to see platypus here. She didn't believe me. Within what, 30, 30 seconds, seconds. <laughs> of getting out of the car while I was trying to reverse, she spotted Although platypus. Although we did think the kids were lying, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there's platypus. Just cruising past. Oh, back really up again. It's back up again. All right, good morning. It's such a frosty sort of morning today. Had a layer of mist on the uh, lake all morning. We've been up for about an hour or so. Tried to push cruising past the uh, under the bridge. But we are heading up to Cradle Mountain today. So we've had two days of chilling out here. But today we're going up to the mountain to have a few hikes and again tomorrow. But today's going to be our big day. So let's get into it. You excited? Mm, really excited. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got up really early today and took the dogs for a massive run up the road. Yeah. About 40 minutes. You were gone for about 40 minutes. Yeah. To add that to all the hikes that you're going to do today. Yeah, I'm going to be cooked this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> but I needed it. Mm. But Brett is hanging around camp today, so he'll be keeping an eye on the dogs for us. Thanks, Brett. <laughs> How about you tell everyone what we're doing this morning? Well, we're just going on a helicopter. Are we helicopter really? Then. It's the red helicopter. <laughs> that red helicopter, you reckon? Yeah. See anyone here at the moment? I reckon that might be ours. I think you might be right, yeah. You want to sit right back in your seat for me, mate, so your legs will be up a little bit. Sit in properly, kiddo. Squeeze your tooth. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Good job.
water pot. Well... Did you get to talk to the pilot? Yeah. While he was flying? Yeah. Yeah. And did you see the mountains and the lakes? Yeah. I think you got the most exciting thing you saw a bus though. <laughs> <laughs> a bus from the sky. Yeah, we yeah. were all the way up there looking down on the bus, weren't we? Yeah, and there's, two, and there's four buses in there. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we go up now and go for a walk? Yeah, but there's one gone. <laughs> Let's yeah. go. Let's go. <laughs> What do you think? Is that awesome? Yeah, one of my favourite scenic parts of Dharma, I think. It's just yeah. sensational up there. To have the lakes, Cray Lake, Dove Lake, the Crater Mountain in the background. It's just, yeah, <laughs> awesome. All right, yes, we're going to go up. We'll park close to that and then we'll get in the back. Jumpers and beanies for jackets and hats with sunscreen. Because it's not that cold right now, but we know that temperature can change pretty drastically up there. So we've got our jackets that we can leave open or zip up if we need to. And we're bringing Liam's okay. Yeah, even though he's a little bit too big for it now. Uh, you know least, he's gonna get tired today. Yeah, and instead of putting him up on my shoulders, he'll be more comfortable with that on my back. Let's go. Yep, I got bus tickets and now pass. Can you get kiddo? Did you take it? <laughs> Okay, here we go, Dove Lake Circuit. What do you think so far? Dad. That's a beautiful hike, isn't it, Liam? Mum. Mm -hmm. Mum and Dad. Yeah. <laughs> and then let me eat this last bit. Okay. So the Sveto family found us down at the uh, road shed there on Dove Lake, minus Brett. Brett's stayed home today. Uh, thankfully looking after our dogs as well. That's not his sole purpose. He's just having a day off today. So we're going to be walking this next track with them. And we did hiking. Go on, man. So we've made the decision to go back up now towards Crater Lake because we want to see the Wombat Pool yeah, and Crater and Lake. Yeah, we do really want to see Crater Lake, so we might as well just go and do it. Especially because we've got Brett. We've got Brett, keep an eye out for the dogs for us, uh, which is good. The Svetos are leaving tomorrow, so we won't have dog sitters as such tomorrow. So we're going to make the most of Brett happily sitting back at camp today, uh, looking after the dogs. So we'll punch out as much as we can physically do today, I think. And I want to see Crater Lake, especially because we saw it from the sky. It looks incredible. So, yeah, let's go. Doing a good job there, kiddo. This is a big hill to climb. Lots of stairs. We are almost at the top of this bit. <laughs> Maybe. Well, the longer he stays out of the backpack, the easier it is for me. Last year. Last year. We'll be there in 2000. All right, up you go then. Yep. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we said goodbye to the Svedniks. They are heading back down from Wombat Pool to the Lily Lake Overland. Lila Lake. Lila Lake. Part of the Overland track. Um, and heading back to get some ice cream. Good on them. Those two kids are absolute troopers. I am so impressed with how well they hike. Um, Owen's six and Kaylee's nine. And they're just guns. They just go, go, go. 
we made it to Crater Lake. <laughs> Yay! Liam's having a little pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop. So cool. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so serene here. It is. Just spotted our first wombat. I'm so excited. There. Wombat number three. What a day! <laughs> yeah, what a huge day we've had. We're back in the car now. It's almost four o'clock, so we got here at nine o'clock. That was the time of our helicopter flight. So a huge day. We're looking forward to getting home, putting our feet up, having a shower. Oh, nice yeah, and spending some time with our dogs too. Uh, we'll take them for another run when we get home. How was your day, kiddo? Good. This looks tough. Hey, good boy. Crazy, yeah. A little tough, huh? So what's your thoughts? First day in the mountain? Uh, it was incredible. My legs are sore though. <laughs> <laughs> How's your leg now? My legs, uh, they're not too bad now, <laughs> but they were hurting as we were climbing up. Like yeah. every step up, I was like, I'm just, no. <laughs> Liam did so well though. He, he did. probably did four Ks. I think he did better when Kaylee was there. Yeah, yeah he was having so much fun. He's obsessed with Kaylee, mm -hmm. just FYI. Yeah. But um, <laughs> when those two were together, she was like, oh, you can do it. It's a big step, jump. And then he would jump down and just keep going. Like he was so leading supportive. us. Yeah. He was so, so good. So very impressed with him. He was. Yeah, 11.2 Ks or something. Yeah. Today. Yeah. He's already in bed. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> cooked. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got to see what? Seven wombats, two Seven. echidnas, no, yeah. three echidnas. Three echidnas because we saw one out in the bus window on the way home. Yeah. And then we seen platypus in the morning, so that's a pretty good day. It's a really That's good day. Like an epic animal it's a very day. Aussie day. Yeah, it's a very Aussie day. <laughs> yeah. Just so, an emu and you'll be good. Yeah. I don't know if they get them down here, do they? Do huh? they get emus in Tuzzy? I don't so. know if they do. Oh. They get potteroos, but not kangaroos. Yeah. Potteroos or patty melons? I keep no, potteroos. We keep, keep calling them patty melons. I've got to find out what they actually are. But yeah, they're, not they're not wallabies. They're not wallabies. They don't have wallabies or kangaroos. they got potteroos or patty melons. Could Interesting array of animals <laughs> here. Anyway, we're just having a couple of beverages. Yeah, it's our relaxing. last night together. Our it's last night was sad. The kids are going to be very... I mean, Kaylee's already mad at me. <laughs> Is she? Because it's all your fault. Because it's all my fault that we're leaving. <laughs> so... She's going to yeah. start school on Monday, though. I already made you a Pepsi, darling. Who do you think she'll miss the most? Liam. Liam. I reckon the dogs. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dogs. Liam and then you guys. Hey? Yeah. Super glue. Well, it's a sad day. We're departing ways with the Sveto's family, aren't we? Yes. I've got a Klingon that's not, not leaving me. I think, we, I think we've adopted the child. <laughs> Uh, but it's been so good hanging out with these guys, but they got to get ready for school. Yeah, school, school starts back tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> back. Oh well. So yeah, it's been pretty good. But we got one more day on the mountain. We're going to go out for a couple of hours this morning to do the smaller walks, and then we're heading where. So we still might see them again soon, but we'll see. Oh, let's get in the car and get out of here before the, the uh, waterworks start. Let's go, Kaylee. Let's go. Bye. See ya. It's hard to say goodbye, isn't it, kiddo? Yeah. Good boy. You're doing a really good job. We're going to wave over the bridge? Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Hey, bum bum bum, ready waving. Here they come. Bye. It's all right, mate. Okay, sweetie. Yeah. It's alright, mate. 
how's your legs feel from yesterday? Actually not too bad, I slept really well. Yeah, I slept pretty well actually, yeah. we all had sleep in. We woke up at 7.30 this morning. We did, it was so good. My calves are a bit sore, but not as sore as I was expecting. Liam, They're it's turning left. left there babe, that way. Up this way. Yeah, calves and um, glutes. And, glutes and hammies <laughs> for me. Yeah. Mainly from carrying Liam up. A tunnel. Should I go through it? Yep, you should definitely go through it. Ah. <laughs> Dad. Wow, what's in here? What's in here? What can we see? Oh, Ooh. Are we can see. I wonder if our little lizard friends on the world on here somewhere. Oh look. Yep, that'd be it. Metallic skin. They did have like a pinky silvery shimmer, didn't they? Do. They are quite metallic in yeah. colour. Well that's that's a big one. That's so pretty. Whilst we're in Tassie, I really want to try and see a Tasmanian devil in the wild. And that means like an unplanned encounter. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bit of research and find out where it's most likely to see them. I mean, you can probably definitely see them here in the Cradle Mountain National Park, but it would likely be at night time. Um, so that would have to be planned and I didn't really think about it. <laughs> so I'll do some research and I really, really, really want to have that experience. That's my thing now bucket list item that while we're here, seeing as we've already seen a platypus and a wombat in the wild. Hey look, another tunnel. Here I come. Whee. Okay, we're now fast tracking the rest of the enchanted walk because Liam needs to go to the toilet. <laughs> it's always number two. <laughs> ah this is the reality of hiking with kids and toddlers. And I guess if you're on a more remote hike, you would just, you know, figure it out. But there's toilets about five minutes away. So Mark's got him. Off he goes. So while they go do that, I'll go to the lodge and find some coffee. <laughs> at camp. I can't hear Costa barking, which is a first. It's a very unusual. We did put some white noise on for him. We did, noise. the fans on today. Yeah, must be fast asleep. <laughs> only just gone 12 so we've only been gone for three hours yeah, and the spedos have, have only been gone for about an hour and a bit so lucky dogs yes yeah, sweetie did they leave you some things yeah oh liam that's so kind what did they leave you sweetie oh i'm a little car oh that's so gorgeous liam what do you say to Kaylee and Owen? Thank you, thank you, Kaylee and Owen. Good boy, Liam. So when it's quiet in the middle of the day, you know, because we have a big clear out of people in the morning and then more people come in the afternoon, but it's a good time to get Costa down for a swim. Usually I have to give him a little bit of encouragement. Costa, what's this? But once he's in, he's usually okay. And then we take Kiri over to the other side and she just has a play in the shallows because Kiri won't swim. But if we did them together, they'd be barking at each other and all sorts. So one at a time would be much better. Because they won't swim. Come on, buddy. So you want to go down here? Yeah, we will. I'm going to join it for this one. <laughs> Just giving the van a bit of a spot clean with some wet wipes. Just the um, the dirt on the floor is terrible. And give everything a bit of a wipe down. It's all going to be grubby because we've been conserving water, so not cleaning as thoroughly as usual. 
And I'm just about to get Curie out for a ball play because it's a lot quieter this afternoon and I don't think anyone would mind if she was off the lead for a little while. I think we're the only one here with the dog anyway. Dogs. Ball. Curie. <laughs> Ready? It's really easy. So basically you just put your potatoes in your elf oil and then I just drizzle olive oil and we bought this fancy pink salt because that's what we could get. <laughs> and I've just cracked a bit of salt over them and I'm going to wrap them up now in the elf oil and pop them on the coals which Mark is kindly preparing for me as we speak. He's a good like that. <laughs> I don't know how long they're going to take so we'll just check them every 15 minutes or so and see how we go. Yeah, we got to cook them first, get out. Oh, why? Yeah, so you can help Dad put them on the coals. Is that what's in here? Um, there's three spuds in the top one, which yep. big ones are for you. The middle one is Liam's one with the little spuds. Okay. And the bottom one is my one with the medium sized spuds. <laughs> like three bears, babe. Coals in there. Hey Liam. Yeah. You see where Dad is? That yeah. fire pit is now really hot. So we're not allowed near it, okay? Okay. Yeah, Good job. Pretty straightforward. I've just cut up some uh, capsicum, tomato, and cos lettuce. Like a bit of grated cheese there. And my bacon's looking nice and fried. I'm actually really hungry now that I've started cooking. Mark is. Moving more cold. Yeah. Liam is doing something. <laughs> and the dogs are still asleep in back of the car. <laughs> Happy Platypus watching. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, they look so good. So Sounds they didn't wicked. they didn't take long at all. Probably like half an hour yeah, on a hot bed of cold. Yes, yeah. And you flip them. Yeah, a few times. Yeah, might yeah, flip them, them burning. Times. I've just mashed Liam's up. Um. And they're cooling down. We're gonna split these in half. And some bacon. Yeah, it's bringing you back a few memories actually. When I was a kid, my parents would cook them on the fire like this when we went camping in X now. And then um, they'd cut them like a mango and then just fill it with butter. And it tastes oh, so good. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't really go wrong with potato anyway. No. All right, let's uh, have a look and bring it in in a sec. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Mark and Liam are already eating out by the fire. Alright, my turn to go and join them now, and then we do bedtime, and then the dogs need a walk and dinner. <laughs> They're still asleep in the back of the car. 